When it comes to iPhones, many people have their favorite generation or model. At least, I hope so, because I have one. And that is with distance. The iPhone 5. Yeah, might not have been the biggest surprise after I wrote it down in the title. But I have to admit that there's one thing that's cooler than an iPhone 5, and that is an iPhone 5 on iOS 6. And there, the pain in the ass begins. Because either you buy an iPhone 5 with iOS 6 on eBay for hundreds of bucks, or you jailbreak it and install some dual boot garbage. But then I found a very concise 22 minutes tutorial on YouTube. And because I'm such a big fan of the iPhone 5 in combination with iOS 6, I had to try it out myself. So let's stop to beat around the bush and let's get into it. First thing you have to know is that Apple don't like people who want to downgrade their devices. So this procedure comes with one or two disadvantages. The first one is you need a Mac. Dun, dun, dun. The second disadvantage is that the downgrade is tethered. So if you want to restart the phone or it turns off, you have to restart it on your Mac. I know it's pain in the ass, but it is free pain in the ass. Okay, but that's enough bad news. Let's get into it. To install iOS 6 on your iPhone 5, you have to download two files. The first one is a program called Nightshade and the second one is the IPSW file you want to install. And if you're lucky, I maybe didn't forget to put the download links into the description. Alright, the first step of your time travel is to open up Nightshade. Then you have to put your iPhone 5 into DFU mode. Okay, in the case that you don't know how to enter the DFU mode, I'll tell you how it works. Even if that would mean that you aren't a genuine Apple OG, you just have to press the power button for 3 seconds. Then without releasing the power button, hold home and power for 10 seconds. After that, you can release the power button, but still hold the home button till your Mac recognizes your iPhone. Congratulations, you are on DFU mode now. Or you failed. If that should be the case, hit this info card. So far, so easy. Now you click on Restore IPSW. Then you click on Select IPSW and choose that one you decided for. In my case, iOS 6.1.4. When you finally found the correct IPSW file on your messy Mac, you can hit the Restore button. If your iPhone 5 shows the old Apple logo and the loading bar now, you did something absolutely wrong. Just a joke. When the loading bar reaches the 100%, you should get a black screen. Now you have to bring your iPhone 5 back in DFU mode and hit the tethered boot button. Then some blue rock should appear on your screen, followed by an ass full of random numbers. And then it appears. The marvelous, gorgeous, beautiful setup screen of iOS 6. And now take a look at this iPhone 5. How fast it is. How beautiful the operating system looks. The question right now is, is it really worth it? I mean, if you think about it, the iPhone 5 isn't such a big pain in the ass on iOS 10, even if it surely won't win a prize for quickness or an excellent app support. But on iOS 6, and I mean it like I say it, the app support is an absolute pain in the ass. You won't be able to install anything. And even pre-installed programs like the weather app, for example, quit service already. Plus, you have to connect your iPhone to your Mac every time it has to reboot. But on the other hand, you have iOS 6 installed on your iPhone 5. And that overweighs all disadvantages, at least in my opinion. But tell me your opinion in the comments. I hope I've helped you with this video at least a little bit. See you next time. Bye.